Today's pond story is called Good Morning Pond. These children went down to a pond in their pajamas to tell all of the creatures good morning. What do you see at the pond? Yeah. The author of this story is Alyssa Capicilli, and the illustrator is Cynthia Jabbar. When a little green frog jumps up with a leap, it's wake-up time at the pond. Do you see the frog jumping? There's some cattails in the water and some lily pads. When a little green frog jumps up with a leap and splashes the fish who were fast asleep, it's wake up time at the pond. Those fish were sleeping. What woke them up? That's right. When the frog jumped into the water, it woke the fish up. When a little green frog jumps up with a leap and splashes the fish who were fast asleep, and the fish swim, swim off with a wave of their tails, and out of the sand crawl a pair of snails. It's wake up time at the pond. Do you see the snails? There's some rhyming words in this story. Snails and tails. Sleep, leap. When red salamanders begin to stir, it's stretching time at the pond. Look at the red salamanders. They're like lizards. When red salamanders begin to stir and grasshoppers spring with a hum and a whir, it's stretching time at the pond. There are the grasshoppers. You can see the red salamanders over here. When red salamanders begin to stir and grasshoppers spring with a hum and a whir, when out from his shell a turtle peeks at the hungry birds who open their beaks, it's stretching time at the pond. See the turtles peeking out of their shells? And there are the baby birds in their nest. They're waiting for their mama to bring them some food. When dragonflies hover on buzzing wings, it's singing time at the pond. Look at all of the dragonflies. I see four of them, two on each page. When dragonflies hover on buzzing wings as croak, 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 an old toad sings, it's singing time at the pond. Did you know that those pond animals sing? <laughs> when dragonflies hover on buzzing wings 
as croak, 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 an old toad sings. When ducks paddle by with a quack, 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 and honk, 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 the geese answer back. It's singing time at the pond. Do you think the animals are really singing as they make their noises? They might be. They might be singing to each other. When little feet tiptoe through grass wet with dew, it's sneaking time at the pond. Wonder why those children are sneaking through the grass. When big eyes watch and ears listen too, it's peaking time at the pond. Little girl sees a grasshopper. Ooh, look at them looking through the grass. What do you think they see? Remember, they're looking at the pond. What do you think they see at the pond? When chins rest in hands and bellies lie still, when the golden sun spreads morning light on the hill. They're looking at the pond and they see the frog. What's the frog sitting on? Yeah, that's called a lily pad. When soft white clouds go tumbling by in the new day's bright awakening sky. It's wake up time at the pond all the animals. Goose says honk. Frog says ribbit. The ducks say quack quack. The fish say blub blub blub. Buzz say the dragonflies. Broke says the toad. Tweet 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 say the little birds. Lots of animals at the pond. What a fun place to go. Wake up, stretch, sing. Good morning, pond. The end. Would you like to go down to a pond in your pajamas and tell all of the animals good morning? I think I would. That'd be a nice way to start the day.